All right, guys, I got something really cool to show y'all today, and that's this Red Odeo battery. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing this correctly. I checked their website. They pronounce it Red Odeo. Kind of a unique name, but mainly what I'm concerned of is the price point. This thing is a 200 amp hour plus battery, so it can charge and discharge at 200 amps or 2560 watt. This is my first time owning a plus size battery for 200 amps. Um, I have a 200 amp hour batteries and they can only discharge 100 amps at a time. So with that being said, if you're looking to get 200 amps out of your battery, I would go with one of the plus size batteries from Red Odeo. Um, they're the most economically priced batteries I can see on the internet right now. This battery is running right now at 650 bucks roughly. We are looking at almost 46 pounds. So this is actually a uh, rebranded company. Um, originally was a Zooms batteries. So you might be familiar with this design. All they did was change the logo. So they're no longer Zooms. They are now Red Odeo. What's awesome is this battery just by itself will put out 200 amps. That's a big deal for you guys who want to run like a 2000 or 3000 watt inverter but don't want to buy a bunch of batteries. This battery solves that issue. But we're going to get this thing fully charged up. I got a 500 watt solar system kind of temporarily set up over here. And we're going to hook this up and try to get it charged up as quick as possible so we can do a full capacity test. So now then we're going to do a time lapse. All right, so far we've charged exactly 100 amp hours into this battery, and it looks like it's still got room for more. On our history level, we've put 1400 kilowatt hours into it, and here's our trend. Um, somewhere around here, I moved the panels so that they would get more sunlight. I was starting to get some shade on the panels. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the charge percent and we'll drop it down to 90. See how much more amp hours we put into this. All right, so I just added a 20 more amp hours to the countdown, and we'll be able to see the total amount of kilowatt hours. That's gonna be it right there. That's fully charged. We put in, I'd say 118 amp hours. In the history, it says we put in 1.6 kilowatt hours. So that's 1600 watt hours. And this is what the trends look like. So as you see, we have max potential power. I had to readjust the panels so they got full solar. And you'll see it gradually drop as the sun moves. And you'll see the voltage pretty much maintains about the same voltage all the way until the end. All right, guys, I'm going to get set up and We'll be right back. Okay, we got our battery at 100%. We're going to cut the inverter on. All right, here's going to be our capacity test. I'm going to turn the heater on and see what we get on low setting. Okay, on low setting, it's 700 watts, give or take, which is about 52 amps. So we're going to let that run. All right, guys, I can't seem to get this inverter to stay on. It keeps overheating. So I got a 2000 watt inverter. I'll try to hook that up and see if that will do a better job than this inverter. Hopefully we can get this 2000 watt inverter hooked up and we can finish this capacity test. All right, that ran it completely down. It's empty, so I need to see if I can jump start it. All right, I'm just going to.
I was trying not to let this part disconnect, but it did. So history, we're looking at 2.6 kilowatts capacity. Okay, so now I need to get this thing on charge. Tomorrow we will do a test on different appliances, see how well it performs. All right, so to perform this test to see if it can actually discharge 2,500 plus watts, I have two inverters hooked up. I have a 2,000 watt inverter and a 1,500 watt inverter. Because I don't have a 12 volt inverter large enough to do a full test on this. So I'm hoping with both of these inverters hooked up, we can get a good understanding on how well this battery can perform. I guess first up, we'll hook the coffee pot up. Because most of you out there in your RVs and stuff, you got a coffee pot. So as of right now, this coffee pot's pulling about 750 watts. While that's cooking, I'm also going to hook up this heat gun. It has a low and a high setting. And right now we're at negative 750 watts. We're consuming about 57 amps. This is low. At low, we're running at 1400 watts. Right now it's consuming 112 amps. Now we're pulling 2100 watts. Okay, that was pulling 175 amps between these two appliances. Let's try the Sawzall. See if we can get it to run. Alright, that was drawing about 1300 watts. Alright, we have the space heater back here. Space heater is pulling 1600 watts or 126 amp draw. Uh, we're going to try low first. Low has us at a 2200 watt draw which is 180 amp draw We're currently pulling 3000 watts that's a 245 amp draw you can see the heater kicking out some heat same with this we got both of these devices going on at the same time with an 80 percent charge we have about 39 minutes left now, I want to remind y'all, this is pulling almost 3,000 watts, which is about 500 watts more than it rated for. Alright, this is high quality. This does the job. Out of all the batteries I have, this will be the best one I have now. So yeah, everything seemed to work out pretty good other than my crappy inverters. But when it comes to this battery, I don't think you can really ask for anything better. This battery had no problem keeping up with the demands of these appliances. What else are you going to run? If you need to run a refrigerator, a uh, deep freeze, or mini deep freeze, a mini fridge, a uh, microwave, I, I mean, this thing right here could do it all. As long as you have an inverter that can handle the power demand then this battery is going to deliver it this company did reach out to me and ask me to do this review and by doing so I was able to get a 3% discount code if you want to check that out the links for the battery will be in the description and you can find the discount code down there as well alright guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos might do some more reviews might do some projects um, think about getting out in the garden we're trying to get more efficient and do things the green way. But yeah, guys, I had fun. And until next time, peace.